Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel for another brief chai chat, basically me telling you how to make my chai tea. I started doing chai chats, I've only done one so far, but it's a series I want to do from here on out, just kind of having sit down conversations with you guys while I have some of my favorite chai. So I thought before I made any more chai chats, I needed to show you guys how to make this tea. And it's Ever since I went to India, I've been hooked on chai, and that was like years ago, and I've been back since, but every time I went, I would always ask our host, like, how do you make this, and I just learned about the different spices, and I've come up with this version that I love a lot, and so I try to have this chai concentrate in my fridge all the time, because I love to host, and it's so fun after a nice meal to like, be like, do you guys want some chai with your dessert, and they're all like, what? They're always so excited if you make authentic chai. Um, so I try to have it on hand all the time and it's just a concentrate and I'm going to show you guys how to make it but you just keep it in your fridge and when you want to make a glass of tea or like multiple glasses you just heat up however much tea you want. Add sweetener, you can add coconut sugar, maple syrup, date syrup, just whatever you want, white sugar, it doesn't matter and you just heat it up, add some non-dairy milk, and you're good to go, and it's so good. One huge recommendation I have is to not drink this right after you make it, but to let it sit in the fridge for like three days, two days, even up to a week. I've had it sit in there for a long time, and the longer it sits, the better it gets, like you can taste all the cinnamon and the spices, and it's so good. So I just thought um, I would show you guys how to make it, it's really easy, it just takes a little bit of time. So, all you're going to do is first put a large pot of water on the stove to boil. And so you're going to bring that to a boil. And while it's coming to a boil, you can get ready all your spices. So, you will need about three star anise or anise, I don't know how to say it, two cinnamon cloves, six to ten black peppercorns, four to five slices of fresh ginger, a small handful of cardamom, which you can pop open with the back of a spoon so you can see some of the black seeds, and another small handful of cloves. So once your water comes to a boil, you're going to add in all your spices, and then you're going to cover your pot, and you're going to bring down the heat so that it's just simmering, and you're going to let it sit for about a half an hour, even longer if you want. But after about a half an hour, you're going to take the lid off your pot and you're going to add in about three black tea bags and I usually just bounce them up and down for about a minute or so um, and then remove them. And then once you are done with the spices boiling, you're going to strain the tea and then you can pour your concentrate into jars and just store it in your fridge and it's so easy, just as easy as that. And so to make another cup of tea, like I said, you just pour in the desired amount of tea you want, add in some sweetener and some non-dairy milk. I really recommend sweetener. If you don't have sweetener, chai just isn't chai. It needs to be sweet. So that's my recommendation. You can do what you want, but... And then you just pour it, you heat it up on the stove, pour it into your mug, and you're good to go. And it's so warming, so flavorful, and yummy. So. Please let me know if you guys give this recipe a try or if you guys are from India or have been to India or have your own chai recipe. I would love to know how you make it because I'm always trying to experiment and switch up my spices and how long I boil it and how long it sits in the fridge and all that stuff. So leave your comments down below. Please let me know if you make it or take a picture or make it for your friends, all that good stuff. Enjoy it while it's still chilly. I'll see you guys for my next chai chat where I'll be talking about something that I went through recently, which is buying bigger clothes. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that and I'll talk to you then. Bye.